Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to another reading. We have a lot of people out here. That's very, okay. Overall, I do see that there could have been a breakup between you both here. Okay. Now, if you guys are already in a connection with this person out here, this person wants to revive all the old memories that you guys have had. Okay. This person here kind of is into that innocent love. Okay. They're into that, uh, memories okay they want to they're reminiscing the memories they're remembering constantly they're missing how you both were together this person probably even views you as your soulmate okay with a six of cups here so uh this person does view you as someone who probably um is the one for them out here now the first card in their feelings is the page of cups here so there are chances there is no communication between you both here so i do feel that this person here if this is a new person here this person is wanting to initiate if this is a new person from your past is what i'm getting then this is someone here who wants to initiate some kind of communication okay like they, they want to make a very small gesture of love if this is an old person an ex out here who things went uh bad with then this person here wants to initiate communication here. They want to text you. They want to talk to you. They want to call you. But this is that small communication, okay, where um, I love you, okay? But I'm not going to literally say I love you. How are you? I miss you. Something like that out here. I do have a feeling that this person here is very, very smart. And they're very intelligent when it comes to controlling their emotions out here. With the King of Cups here, this person has a lot of love for you. You cannot even imagine. This person loves you to the moon and back out here. But yes, this person has mastered their emotions, which means that they have their head and heart in balance. This person here who is never going to let you know how much they love you. Sorry, not never. But at least for this week, they're not going to let you know. Okay, because in their feelings here, no matter how much they love you, they're just not the best at expressing their emotions. Why? Because they think it's just smarter. It's more wiser to be more logical. And hold back their emotions rather than come towards you upright and be on that impulsive energy and let you know how much they love you. Okay. So yeah, this is telling me that this person wants to communicate with you. So it's like this. Whenever this person communicates with you, right? I think no matter how much love they have behind the scenes, when it comes to really uh, approaching you, it's going to be very, very small. Probably uh, like a hi or like how are you? You know, like more like more friendly but with the emotions, you know, very small amount of emotions. But deep down, this person has a lot of emotions for you. But yes, this person is very smart, very clever in holding back their emotions. They're never going to let you know. Or their chances, they are very good at controlling their emotions is what I said. Because they think that's the right thing to do right now. With the King of Wands, their intentions is here. They're zoned in on you. They want you. There's a lot of attraction here, a lot of passion out here, a lot of sexual energy out here. This person is wanting to take a risk towards you. This person wants to come towards you like right now. Action oriented, risk taker. Along with that, this person also has a lot of love for you. But their approach towards you is going to be the page of cups here. So you're always going to wonder that this person, do they even really like me or not? Because this is already there in their emotions, but they're forced. They're forced to hold back, okay? Why? Because with the Six of Cups and below that, we have the King of Swords, which is why I said, this is their strategy of being giving you a cold vibe. So probably they've cut you off. Probably you block them. Probably they block you, okay? But if this person isn't approaching you, this is their strategy to hold back from you, okay? Because there's something that they have in mind. But I'm not getting any uh, negative vibes from this person out here. All right. Um, maybe they're even conflicted about should they open up about their emotions to you? I don't think they'll open up about their emotions here. That's a very tough um, king out here who will just, ooh, that's a very balanced king, you know, very diplomatic out here. Who wants to get married? Okay. The ten of wands here. This person out here, uh, there are chances either this person is very, very overwhelmed right now because they have a lot of responsibilities which are not best to carry, but they still got to do it. Okay, so I feel that this person here has a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, okay, or uh, it could be family pressure, it could be a lot of other people's opinions, or it could just be overall their job, career, something that's stressing them out. It's like an uphill battle out here. So in their intentions here, they could be wanting to finish a cycle, they could be wanting to get a load off before they could come to you, or Overall, this person feels that if there is no communication between you both, this person feels that no communication is just too much for them. Okay. They can't bear the silence between you both. I will still clarify that. 
But four of wands with the overall energy here, I feel this person wants a reconciliation. This person wants to get back with you. This person wants uh, to, um, yeah, reconciliation is what I get. With the four of wands here, this person probably even wants to commit to you. They probably want to marry you. They want to bring stability and security in this connection out here. What's the ten of wands here? What's this burden? What's the ten of wands here? Ace of Wands, see, that's what I said, right? That's what I'm saying. This person out here is wanting to let go of a painful cycle, which is too much for them. They're ready to re release that burden, release that stress. And I feel the stress is all about how do they come towards you and start a brand new beginning with you. That's what I'm getting here. Because with Ace of Wands, there's a lot of passion out here. It's not a very practical start, okay? For the people who are wanting something practical out here, it's not going to be practical. It's very, very emotional, okay? This person here is in their emotions out here. So... Uh, may not be a practical start, okay, from now until the 21st year, but there's a lot of emotions involved out here, okay? This person's just not being able to hold it in anymore here. But yes, they do want a brand new beginning with you, a clean, fresh start with you, a uh, very, very passionate start and uh, something where uh, you just kind of erase the past and start from zero. Okay, they want you to completely forget what happened in the past and they want to start from zero. But yes, I did see the four of wands, which means that they do want something stable and secure with you. The Empress here and their intentions here. Now, for a lot of you, either you are married to this person out here. If you are not married to this, if you're married to this person, this person is in love with you. They want, they see you as their spouse. They see you as someone they would uh, want to be with uh, forever. And they see you as very nurturing, very caring, very motherly. Okay. And someone you're very beautiful, very abundant, very attractive. And someone you're who's probably got her shit together, his shit together, whatever. Take it out, resonates. But yes, you are like um, honey to a beer right now. Because it looks like you don't really give a shit to this person right now. But with the Empress here, if you're not married to this person here, this person definitely has all their intentions of wanting to marry you and wanting to be with you. Okay? Because the Empress is a card of abundance, growth. It's the card of someone who wants, you know, wanting that happily ever after. That's a wifey, husband, card, whatever that is. With the Nine of Swords here, this person is stressing the shit out about how they are going to achieve all this out here. This is them, no matter... Whether they, I don't think this person has options, but if this person is trying to hold their emotions back, along with holding their emotions back with the nine of swords here and the king of cups here, the more they hold themselves back, the more they try to be more balanced, the more they're stressing out. Okay, so probably things could have been almost over between you both, which is why this person's constantly thinking about you obsessively. Or this person is just constantly having a lot of regret about what happened in the past. All right. Let's see. Let's clarify. What's the nine of swords here? What's the stress about? See, they're trying. They're just being very, very cold. They're being very cold. They're being very logical. They have a strategy out here, which I told you, which I saw before also. This person is, they have a strategy out here. This is not someone here who will jump in head first. Okay. This is someone here who does not want to take things very impulsively. It's like, let's start this now. No. The Ace of Wands is the jump start out here. Yes. But with the Ten of Wands here, I do feel that there's a lot of pressure that they already have. They could also feel that this relationship is a lot of pressure. Okay, so they want to start. They want to let go of the past. They want to start brand new with you. But yes, with the Nine of Swords here, they're constantly trying to, you know, uh, be in their head. So they're in their headspace, they're pretty messed up. They're crazily thinking about what they can do, how they can make it right. And with the King of Swords here, there are chances there are kind of, there's a kind of strategy that they're trying to implement out here. Okay, like wait. Let's take it slow, you know, like how it's going to go step by step. I do want to clarify the Empress. What's the Empress here in their intentions? Oh, we have the husband here, which, like I said, this person definitely wants to marry you. Now, uh, for a few of you, I do get that if this person is married to you, they want to continue being married to you, okay? They don't want to go anywhere. They, if you guys are married and they want to, uh, you think that there's a fight or things are going pretty bad between you guys? No, they want to, their intentions are to keep it the way it is. For, for the others of you who are not married and who wanted commitment out here, it is in their intentions to grow old with you. It is in their intentions to give you something traditional, something committed, okay? Um, religious factors, cultural differences, age difference or something like that something could also be an issue between you both here which is why this pro person is kind of stressed here okay with the nine of swords here i told you this person is pretty much stressed out here but yes their 
their focus they they're more inclined towards marriage with you but with the nine of swords here they probably feel that things are a little difficult with you which is why they're trying to see it more logically out here like i said before family norms traditions uh cultural differences places anything could be a problem between you both and they see you that they want you you're the one for them but something is stressing them out over and over again and they're wanting to think more logically and more strategically before they come approach you okay so that's what i have for you taurus hope this meeting resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye next time bye bye next time bye bye